Hello everyone. Um, apologize for the delay in making videos. Um, I had an unexpected bee sting on my right foot, so it and it turns out I am slightly allergic to them. <laughs> so it turns out my entire foot um, and half my leg had swollen up. So driving wasn't much of anything I did um, over the last few days. It is still swollen a little bit, but I'm able to drive again. I am having to wear actually like Crocs just because my shoe foot still won't fit correctly in my other shoe. So um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Wow, what is going on? Okay. Look at this GP. Look at. That's, that's ridiculous. Okay, now it's finally fixed. Okay. Okay. I don't know if you want to really count that as a true disengagement. I didn't disengaged it, disengaged it because it lost its GPS, um, which is kind of ridiculous in my mind. It can see the road, um, but it thinks it goes based on the location of the car uh, on the GPS. It needs to give more more, um, more weight to what Vision sees over what the map says. Okay, so this is the route we want to go. We don't want to take the highway. So this is our um, last attempt. We had a single disengagement. Um, I guess for the course of this video, um, I don't know, you tell me in the comments. Uh, right now I'm going to say no to being those being a disengagement, but otherwise they were obviously clear issues with the GPS system. I had just left from underneath my carport, and if for whatever reason it is just not quick enough to latch on the GPS. It's just it, that's a common issue, and so I'm waiting for them to fix that. It seems to be a little bit more hesitant on this road. It's kind of giving a little phantom braking. It's doing it well, but it's not as smooth as it should be. This is a good turn. There's a that's a yield there, not a stop. So it still does the yield, which is good. And what it should not be doing, again, is speeding up. So I'm going to manually slow it down here uh, to what it should be going. It's 25 right here to get to the 20. Because we're going into a school zone, and there's usually, um, quite often, is a um, cop car up and around this corner here. Uh, because people often speed right here. This is, as you can see, it's trying to stop for this yellow, and it, it made it through. Uh, definitely some hesitation, though. Based on traffic and amount of people, is I sometimes will drop it down to 20 mile an hour right here. But there's hardly anyone parked today. So, I don't think that much of an issue. As you can tell, it's making space for those cars. That's doing great. I expect it's going to turn on the blinker right here. Yep, it should not be turning on the blinker right here. This is this is continuous road. Even on the map, it says it changes. It changes, but it's just a continuous road right here. And now we can up the speed. It should again. It's 35. It's 20 right here, but it goes to 35. It should start speeding up to the speed limit right before it gets to it, in my opinion. see right here the speed limit is based on GPS still um, I think in my areas where the map map data is just not good uh, it is a more rural area in Western North Carolina here in the mountains but it's not like we're out like middle of nowhere the map data should be more accurate than this and at least in some way I wish there was a way users like myself could fix the map data that's, I really wish that was improved uh, or s something we could crowdsource, you know? Like, obviously, there, there are people that are gonna make the map data wrong, but maybe there could be a select pick, 
people that could just, you know, fix their area. Like, I'm a beta tester. Tesla, you would think, could trust me to correct the map data in my area. Um, so eventually maybe every city will have one person that kind of corrects map data They can you know check it out and correct that data eventually. So I think it's gonna be done automatically um, by the vision system but Right now that it causes a lot of smoothness issues with the car not having it mapped out properly like that In terms of smoothness going around these corners um, I think it has improved over 9.0. This is like the first really curvy road I've actually been on, I think, with 9.1. Uh, so it it's, seems to be improved. Like, it's not as jarring as 9.0 was, um, and especially 8.2. It's much better over 8.2. It's just this is, um, it still doesn't take the corners as fast as I would take them. Had a little phantom brake with the cars coming around that corner. Of course, it up the speed limit again because of GPS set speed limits. It did used to be 55 on this road, but they have lowered it since. It could have stayed 40, honestly, going around this. Maybe around this corner it could slow down to 35. But um, it's slowing down, in my opinion, too much for this corner. I definitely could go at least 30 mile an hour around that corner pretty comfortably. I'm probably going to have to change the GPS again for the exit. Um, but we'll see. This It just doesn't like the route, the direction I want to go. It is not taking a left here this time, which is good. I don't know why I decided to do that in the last video but we'll let it keep on going onto the highway from here. Okay, it breaks for no reason there. We'll see if it fixed this stop sign. Hey, that stop sign last time tried to stop and it did not this time, so very likely it fixed that stop sign. I did press the camera button, so they might have seen that clip. So that that is definitely an improvement over 9.0. That being said, this is the first time and only time on 9.1 I've driven on this road, so perhaps a second time it might not be right. But definitely, currently is an improvement, and I I definitely say it is doing better around curves. It's not slowing down as much around curves. For me, I can easily be comfortable going 40 around the curves as long as the car is, thinks it can do it. I can go faster than 40 around these curves with full comfort. And um, the car is doing much smoother than it did previously in terms of like slowing down and speeding back up. Um, I would have gotten car sick already. Um, right there, it braked a little bit much, but um, it's overall definitely improved. Okay, so we need to slow down a little bit quicker than that, a little bit sooner, but we're taking a left right here. This is going to be a big test. Is it going to go into this traffic right here? It needs to stop. Nope. That, God, I don't understand why I can't see that. This obviously in disengagement. It should not even think about turning the wheel, and it turned the wheel. You can clearly see it started turning the wheel. It should not even try to turn the wheel right there, and that's... For a human, it's very unsettling that it's going to just start turning the wheel and keep on going in the traffic. It was not tr um, coming to a stop. If it doesn't do a good job merging on the highway here. But okay, again, hey, it fixed the navigation on this spot. Well, that's an improvement over 9.0. But anyways, back to what I was saying. It's, it, what it should have done is not turn the wheel and should have came to a complete stop. And then slowly started turning the wheel to get ready to turn. Um, but it started like, it felt like it was going for it. And obviously that truck was coming, so that wasn't going to have any of that. So again, this is... Um, I think the only reason 8.2 made it is because it got lucky, basically. 
That's the only reason 8.2 made this as a zero disengagement drive. Um, this is our exit. I don't think there's construction on it, but we'll see. in the middle in 1000 feet turn sharp left okay no you need to be slowing down not speeding back up so this, this. now turn sharp left onto Greville highway why are you stopping there's a car behind me that car had to swerve off the road because my car stopped. Um, it stops far too back for stop signs. Multiple areas, it will stop too far back for stop signs. Um, I don't. Something with 9.1 update. That is something absolutely worse than 9.1 over 9.0. Is it would just for whatever. There are multiple areas where it'll just stop too far back. I don't know why. Okay, so this is basically into this route. Obviously, a, a definite one disengagement. You can debatably say three disengagements if you want to count the first thing. But either way, it was not a perfect drive, and it still has work to be done as much as there were clear improvements over 9.0. Still improvements to be made, and hopefully 9.2 coming out this Friday will improve that further. Uh, thanks for watching, you guys. I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.